show you how to set up the new Fire TV Cube. This is the 2022 third generation. Now right out of the box you get some instruction manuals. You get two AAA batteries for your remote. You get the TV Cube itself and you get a power adapter as well. Now really quickly, on the top you can see some buttons here. You got um, volume up, volume down, you have your mute and you have your action button here and you have your little mic speakers there. And on the back here, you can see several ports here. We have uh, HDMI in, HDMI in, HDMI out. You have your IR extender port there. The power plug goes here. You have your USB, which I'm not going to need. And you have a network Ethernet uh, port here, unless you want to go Wi-Fi. I'm going to go Wi-Fi, so I'm not going to be using that. So the first thing I want to do is go ahead and plug in my power adapter into here. So the power is going to go into the power plug. Now you also need your own HDMI cable. Okay, so I'll have my own right here. And what I want to do is put this one where it says HDMI out. Okay, so HDMI out right there. Now this other end I'm going to plug into my TV. So I'm going to plug this into my HDMI port in my TV. Now I'm going to plug in the wall adapter. And we should see this light here on the front. Now the next thing, make sure you go to the correct HDMI port, which the Fire TV Cube is connected to, and then you should have something like this with a remote on the screen. So go ahead and grab your remote. We're going to insert the batteries. You see a down arrow here. So we're just going to go ahead and slide that out. We're going to pop these batteries in. Oh, and right away... Okay, so I put my battery in now. It says uh, press play, pause to start. So I'm going to press on that. So right right away, it pairs my remote. Okay, the thing is, if yours didn't pair right away, well, you, after you put the batteries in, what you want to do is press and hold the home button for 10 seconds, okay? Anyway, mine's already paid here, paid or um, paired here. So I'm going to go with English here. Going to connect to my Wi-Fi network here. Put in my password. After you put your Wi-Fi password in, go down to connect right there. So it's downloading the software now. And so it's updating. We see a progress bar down here. It says, please do not unplug the power cable during the update. So be patient here. Restarting. Now you have two ways to sign into your Amazon account, okay? You can sign in online using a, your computer or your phone simply by going to www.amazon.com front slash code, or you can use the QR code, okay? So it doesn't really matter, but I'm just going to go ahead and use the QR code. I'm just going to go ahead and bring up my camera on my phone. I'm going to get that QR code amazon.com is going to take me to. Now I just signed into my Amazon account, and I get this code right here. So I'm going to tap on continue. Yes, link this device. And I'm going to close this page right here. And now you can see the TV proceeding. And I'm done with this part. It says, welcome Virgil. And then I can go ahead and continue or change account. So I'm, I want this account here. I'm going to tap on continue. Save Wi-Fi passwords to Amazon. This is a preference. You can go yes or no. For me, I'm going to go with no. I get this Restore Fire TV because I have a previous Fire TV cube. But I'm going to go ahead and skip the restore. I'm going to start from the beginning so you guys can see. Use Fire TV Remote and Alexa to control your devices. Alexa will guide you through setting up your TV, soundbar, or receiver and cable box. Okay, so you can always do it later. You can do it now. I'm just going to go ahead and go mine. Continue set up now. Go ahead and read through that. And then we can go ahead and go with Next. All right, so it says success. Now you can add a sound ball or AV receiver, okay? For me, I don't have one, so I'm just going to put do this later. Add a cable box or satellite, satellite box. I don't have either. I'm just going to go with do this later. Parental controls. I don't need it. I'm going to go with no parental controls. Choose your streaming services. So you can go ahead and click on Get Started, and you know you have options to click like Hulu, uh, Amazon, uh, um, and so on. Or you can go on No Thanks. You can just go to No Thanks, and you can download your apps and stuff later, okay? It really doesn't matter. I'm just going to go with No Thanks there. Welcome to Fire TV. Read through that, and then click on Got It. 
Who's watching Fire TV? Oh, that's me right there. And there we go. We are in business now. Alexa, what time is it? It's 12, 12 p.m. Alexa, download Disney Plus. Here's Disney Plus. And I can download it right there. And of course, we should be able to shut off the TV and turn it on. Alexa, TV off. It's off. Alexa, TV on. Good luck, guys.